What's up guys? This is the Brightman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of, My of Mysore, sorry. In this episode, uh, we are capturing the Dagestan capital. Uh, that number is significant. We need to make sure we do this properly. Let's make sure the last thing we bring in for our reinforcements is artillery. Um, and let's go to it. We're going to bombard the bejesus out of them and rely on our mortar team to do a lot of really good quick line work because we're gonna have to be smart how we crack open this bad boy we just try and mob them it's probably gonna end up end badly because their infantry is actually not bad in melee so we need to crack our way in make multiple breaches seal the, seal the breaches and see if we can entice them to come out this terrain's not great but manageable. Get my guns here, and I can trundle them here, and maybe afterwards fire over into the top of the city. The mortars, just get as close as you can. Tuck quick climb. Everyone else, let's chill out before we worry about throwing you in. Make sure the guys that can shoot will wait. Okay, see if my guns can push up. No, oh, my mortars are facing the wrong way. Make ready and just start firing quickly. And this is a bit risky because we may get folks fired by their artillery. There we go, starting to get some good quickline damage. But my, yeah, my hope. You see that big blob of cavalry in the centre? Once we've made some breaches, they'll just start firing it their, their uh, troops in the centre. And up here, we may be able to call in artillery permanently. So rather than having artillery that's only useful during the breaching stage, we may actually be able to do a bit more than that. So let's focus on the corner. You overshot almost all of your well, you did overshoot all of your shots. Spread my cavalry out a bit further because it looks like they're interested in shooting my cavalry specifically. That's a human reload. And it looks like they are doing it. So let's just speed up time. Let them carry on. They're, they're overshooting a lot. That doesn't matter. My quick climbing mortars will keep doing good work. But if we can make a few breaches, so we'll thin out their defenders. To defend multiple smaller areas. And then we can isolate and destroy them and have our force in a fairly good position to uh, to respond to the reinforcements as they come in unless we are super successful in securing center which i do not necessarily believe but you know what i think to, to be honest our guns are positioned too high and too close that's why they're overshooting a lot but it does mean they may overshoot into the enemy Back after this is done. But let's focus on creating at least one breach. So they've killed almost an entire unit of militia. Infantry would be better, but I'll take militia. They may actually be better at shooting along the wall. Okay, looks like they are going to. There we go. That's the Oh, come on. Let's aim at that section because that's a quite a highly populated section of the wall. Well, they appear not to have listened to that. The one I aim for this section. Where's the enemy K? 
have. They're they're antsy. Yeah, really, I want to knock a few more of their walls out so I can advance. So I can advance to the walls and cover them effectively. I can push up and create little defensive pockets outside. Then hopefully, if possible, lure them out. Actually, can one of you guys... You can. This can... Let's pick. You man just blast that unit, uh, that unit in the breach with shrapnel shot. But let's see if you can actually do that. You can go after the militia, but not the line infantry. I'll take that. Though, strictly speaking, you probably don't want to knock out that unit. If you can attack ground here and hit the 15th, that would be super. These two keep firing at this section of the wall. It's not really to kill anyone, it's just to add more gaps, although you don't really want to. But we've made the breach. Let's see if you guys pivot to defeat this next section. No, you don't want to shoot there. You will go for that one. Kind of. You'd rather shoot with the centre. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now they're doing it. Good. This gun switched to route shot. Engage the cavalry, see if that lures them to attack, or if you'll even do it. Let's speed up time a minute just to watch them reload. We're still making our breach. Are you still reloading? Okay, now they're, they're auto picking targets again. I don't hate it. I'll just rather you did something rather than anything. Aim ground short of the centre. Rely on the cannonballs bouncing into the enemy cavalry. No, you're aiming at the, this unit of militia again. Yeah, that's okay, I suppose. There we go. If we can knock out this section of the wall, then a lot of these units are trapped. Which means they will perpetually be unable to call in reinforcements for these guys. Okay, right. Let's... Start advancing some units towards this breach. Keep on squeezing. New men may try and squeeze around the flank. Although really I do want my melee troops to be in towards the breaches where the action is rather than on the flank. See, they're not all committed. Which makes me suspicious, but it looks like they might let us get away with knocking down this section of the wall, which would be pretty super. The 
I might just stay running at normal speed. Friendly fire incoming for the warriors. Slow down. Get those guns fired. Now run. Too late. Now walk. <laughs> now run. Ninety-six percent. Almost got this section. The mortars. Yeah. You know, see, if I try to give them an actual order, they don't. They don't really do anything. They just advance, which isn't really what I want. It does mean they're now a bit closer to the centre. Excellent. Bunch of guys dead from the wall collapsing. A lot of men are trapped. Provincial Cav is after my desert militia. Massively opposed to that in principle. Jump on them. Are they sending more in? I mean, if you guys pathfind it correctly. Like, look, they're giving an order to charge and they're running literally away. Okay, you've got one unit of enemy cavalry destroyed. Although well, it's probably musket fire from the Israeli really helps. Let's bring my Fahina. These Obashi musketeers aren't slouches. Especially if they can create their own little breakthrough here. Okay, let's try to do just that. Kizzle. Bashi push you up. It's a really push up. In my militia in the armory. Let the militia engage that provincial cav unit. these two units up. You guys up to cover the bridge. Get some Israeli up onto the wall with the unit of bowmen. All this artillery limber up and retreat. Got my mercenaries inside the armory. Israeli run. Lain run. You routed for what? You're a full strength. That makes zero sense. Maybe they'll come back. Let's bring in the camels. If they want to charge most already, we can just dump in square if we want. Which we're going to. Hillary. Withdraw. Forming square. Felain tackle the, pro the enemy cavalry. You might come back. You should come back. You've lost hardly anyone. 
And my bowmen are going to secure the gates. That's going to be their job. Nice so already, just get up there. Try get my camels in. Nice already a holding. So they're bringing in extra troops to bear. They're not committing the troops in the centre. They're not committing anyone else. Okay, you're going to go after provincial cavalry. Looks like they want to try and interfere with the men on the walls, but they're not going to make it. Or if they do, they're going to have to hurry. These people are getting up fast. Okay, that section of the wall is clear. So let's advance two units in through here. Plus a Fellaine unit. Everyone's doing well. The camel gunners, yeah, I just don't want them to shoot at people. My general's here just to provide morale support. These men are going to go here. Actually, this unit may secure the armory. You're going in through the gate, which isn't what I wanted you to do, but you know what? I'll allow it. My bowmen elected to, rather than run along the wall, they decided actually where we want to go is you want to get off the wall, be attacked by cavalry, and then push through. That's the smart play. Disagree. Push my Thaleen up. Hey, have we got enemy cavalry coming in from behind? That's not cool. Now you're pulling back just like we want. These Israeli. I'm just really unhappy about putting these Israeli anywhere because they're just going to get... There we go. They just got toasted by my own mortars. Nice. Mortars run away. Now we want precision effect. You're much less useful. Bring my horsemen across because we got... Provincial Cav coming in around the flank. Belaine, get over into this rumble here. Okay, you men fall back. Alright, you broke as well. That unit is actually did come back. You're going to get over here as well. Hack there, hack your way through. Back to be all of these men. These fellas should do well against the general's bodyguard. New men advance, up the right flank. Now let's make them run. Oh god, no, don't go don't go there. My Israeli also cover the go yeah, we'll start to cover the wall. So killed one general unit. 
skirmish cavalry are retreating, partly because of all this gunfire. Push the infantry in. The camels do more intelligently manoeuvre. Here's just warm up like that. Don't go crazy. Let's try run my camels around this engagement. Bring my elephants in just to be scary. You're gonna get some good kills. You men just fire by rank at whoever you choose to shoot at. Excellent. Just keep knocking out the cavalry as it comes in. Human secure this gate. Okay, let's try man some guns towards where the enemy reinforcements are going to come in from. Good shots off. Belaine, get over here. Okay, am I throw my general in? So where's all my... Yeah, is this where, the, where an enemy army reinforces from? Although actually no, there is a smaller force that comes in at one point. Felaheen, get in here. Where's my... It's Pahi come over here. I've got a feeling these guys are going to be squaring off against a lot of cavalry. really suitable here, not, not really any musket units, they're all melee units. Kill that last infantryman. Okay, get over here now. I might, okay, I might just have to get my bowmen off the walls to do something useful. Yeah, here come the enemy reinforcements, the bulk of them at least. Bring my general across. Sure, these guys can be left to their own devices. Star degrading. Actually, you guys might stay doing what you're doing. We start bringing our considerable melee advantage in the centre to bear. Okay, you men all charge out, attack this unit of line infantry.
you're gonna charge in. Back your way through, get my camel, camel camels. Oh no, my general's gonna die to a regiment of horse. And form square to that regiment of horse that's coming in. I mean, all this cavalry might be enough to actually stop us from being able to get in. Okay, let's bring these men off the walls. Dervishes. Commit the dervishes over to this block. It itself is not scary, it's more about when... Okay, right, camels come in. We need to go in and try and secure that central position. Actually, no, don't shoot. They're going to stand there firing only if the head of the column is shooting at us, that's not a problem. then our bows may actually have superior firepower. Engage that particular unit. More dervishes. Camels are a good get. Camels over here. No, don't. Oh, didn't want them to engage. But look, I'm giving them the order to engage the general's bodyguard, but they still ran over and attacked that line infantry unit. They were determined. We need to take control of the enemy center. And I fear holding off all these enemy attacks are going to just slowly bleed our strength away. Caracho! these guys when they come charging in so my camels are going to go after them try head them off because we can break these guys outside of the walls these guys inside they'll take a little more cracking Kill that last cavalryman. Got him. Format. Shoot the enemy. Actually, just no. Ignore the enemy. Just get in. Push on and try and attack the general's bodyguard. Which two men run into the middle and sit there. Commit my der dervishes into the action again, or more dervishes into the action. Okay, one we'll need it broke. It's to be expected. I mean, my general died, so I get why some of my guys are upset. It's weird I can't actually attack their general. There we go. For, for a minute there, it wasn't giving me the. Command. Nice. There we go. Now we kill their general. Let's keep pushing. We're teetering on the edge of having dominance. So 
you men form up and begin engaging the enemy with musket fire. with her in control. Because who is left? Okay, I think we got it, finally. General's bodyguard can get out there and get involved in some shooting. One cavalry in and out to attack the 15th. Everyone else just mass attack here and just try to hold them off. It's only four line infantry left anyway here. One left. Get my Serrati out here and start engaging. Combat. Camel gunners form up and start shooting. Bowman. Double secure. Actually, we don't have control over here. So let's move my camels over to block off that entrance. And this is this already that came back. Bring them in. Ooh, te technical battle this one. Yeah, with all these reinforcements coming in, it might actually be tricky to try and win. Well, it wouldn't be ever so tricky. The tricky I would pull, selectively pull units out of this engagement back inside. I wouldn't keep them out here. And right now, these guys are just a speed bump. As these units will come in, they have to get past this massive combat to get through and I would happily keep feeding units into it just to buy time to allow this little baby to be put up excellent and just gun down anyone you choose these men that try and these men that try and uh, hold this Hold us off, but hold us off um, unsuccessfully. Excellent. So it took a real hammering, but the battle was won. And you had, you, this territory got given back to someone. I can't remember what the change was. Heroic death, I know, is incredibly heroic. Get rid of the university. Then you guys get a new general, replenish, and then head over to here. A redeployment. If any sure wants to get rid of the university, you'll cheer up. There you go. You men replenish. Brave swords. Everyone else is ready, or they're, they are on their way for redeployment. So let's keep cracking on. I'm pretty sure you guys all have your marching orders, figuratively and literally. Okay, let's go take out Patras from the Greeks. You got lots of very weak units. Um, citizenry units. Have they got pikes? Well, they're, they're, their stats aren't very good. So let's make some breaches, baby. I'm going to secure Greece. That's going to be good. And then, well, just keep knocking out some of our smaller foes. And then next turn, we will finish off the Russians. And then it will be a max exodus over to America to just obliterate everybody in our path and no one's going to be able to really stop us and that's what's going to be so good so very very good okay 
four guns, set slap sets of guns, set slap bang in the middle. Entirely shooty army, except two units of fellae. Bam, right, let's take one set of infantry, hide them in these trees over yonder. You men can go in. Go in the centre, backed up by my melee troops. Gunroar and my lances hold back. Okay, I think we're gonna get in. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, got all of their citizen armed citizenry in the centre. They look quite devastating, but they are still armed citizenry. Oh yeah, I need to look at some of their unit. Orophilakis. They look pretty dapper. More irregulars. Corophilakis. Corophilakis. Filakes. Ethnophilakis. I mean, they're all good. They just don't get many of them. 75. Then again, they are meant to be irregulars, but the issue is you can't recruit many, much more than irregulars. But yeah, there's one breach. Ooh. Okay. Go to work on the second. Let's give our guys some orders. Let's see if we can lure them out where they can be gunned down like dogs. Preemptively give you guys orders as well. We may see some friendly fire walking in front of the guns, but that's okay. Plenty more where they came from. I've got lots of troops. Push forward, push forward. And these devilishly sneaky chaps. That's going to make you panic. Mounted Cavalry looks very good. Well, I say looks very good. It does not want to be here. That horse is upset. It's going to be a lot more upset in a minute. So, yeah, so these guns retarget. Fire! Some bad guns. Nice. You guys will be able to make quite a few. One unit needs to go block off the gate. Okay, you men scale. You men scale. You men go block off the gate. Human scale and then human scale. We, block, we need to block off the gates or the access to the gates, the easiest access to the gates, uh, for their cavalry to push through and attack our assault force. So these guys are going to sit here and then, when necessary, drop into square formation. And by time to allow my formations to push up and secure. The walls. There's shooting range if you like. If you want to come out. I mean, you guys might preemptively deploy into square just to make sure I don't forget. So they don't really want to come out. Let's move my Elaheen up. They can be the first into the breach. The rest 
of our units are getting into position. Drop you guys into square as well. Although they all seem to like this set. Hello. Looks like they do want to make a, make a push of it. Souls. Push up. Hold fire. We secured a gatehouse? Yes, we have. It's going to make you panic. You men go here. Helene, push in. You men go here. Drop in the square. Feline and storm into the breach. Maybe this unit try to push through. This unit try to secure the gate. Okay, so we've managed to survive that engagement. You men engage the light foot, because they're only light infantry. Kizobashi hold the line. And my Pelleen should carve through these units. They're irregulars and, uh, irregulars and light foot. Kishima form up beside the walls. Allow them to advance towards us where we can shoot them down like dogs. This Kizabashi unit. Oh, it's just a unit of irregulars. Lane advance. Lances advance. How many guys run away? Is this all that's making it chug? Or is it these guys trying to charge the walls? Potentially. Maybe. Okay, you, mean, don't, you guys don't shoot into the combat. Even though you're outside the walls, part of you are inside the walls, and that's all my units can tolerate. I, want, I think it's got to be to do with these guys wanting to charge the walls, but they can't, and that's making them kind of freak out. It's until they work out they can't do that, then we're in trouble. Let's just try and pull this out just to really make sure it's not. Because usually it is combat in the in the breaches that usually causes it to be really slow and rubbish. So you men, let's not do that. Let's get you out of there. You're not doing it either. It's got to be these guys just freaking out. I don't know. Might have been the breach. Very well. We'll do the, We'll do this the old-fashioned way. We'll draw you out. Then we'll destroy you. Okay, now they're coming.
Okay, now they don't want to push. The armed citizens only want to push now. Well, they did. Let's let this unit just keep firing by rank. Everyone else is breaking and running. Let's get my lancers over here to pick off routing units to make sure they shatter. Up and try and get ready to jump into the command HQ and fire in all directions. Here comes unit of regulars. I mean, if you want to hit my belly, that's fine, I love it. Unit of armed citizenry. Balayin. Pikes versus swords and shields. Okay, you men. Double time into the command HQ. Start knocking some of these cavalrymen off of their horses. Until these guys are fully on the walls, they won't take up their proper position on the fire step. Because you guys are deciding to move up only on two grappling irons. You guys aren't going to get there anytime soon. I mean, they all do it. They all eventually start bunching up. Uh, get in. Don't just stand there. done to this game with, their, with this routing. I mean, they say, oh, these updates, these updates don't change, haven't changed the uh, the logic of the game. I mean, look, I've given them an order and they're just sat here. One guy is fighting a cavalryman and they've all just frozen in place. No oh, damn. Okay, even more of the armed citizenry. Want to get in the building? That will kill. Oh, they, they're going to be done for. Because they're just going to get mobbed by enemy cavalry. Well, Falaine, it's time to try get in again. Although, actually, it looks like we can. You guys just run past all this. I think some of them. No, they haven't dismounted. They're just not. Kizobashi charged the armed citizenry. And these guys should get gunned down if they try and leave. Beautiful. Artillery attack ground outside the walls. Don't actively worry about shooting any targets. Like you change your mind, you don't like that either. Hello there, just ignore whatever the hell has gone on out here. Just get in. That's the only thing I want you to do. Cavalry can do whatever they like, but they start you start popping musket shots out of the walls, out of the windows rather. You're gonna get them. You just ah. Okay, Felaheen get in. Lancers get in. This unit get in. This unit charge down off the walls and attack the irregulars. There we go. Don't care about guys inside. They're going to start picking people off their horses and it's going to be great. The 
there goes the enemy in this breach because they elected to charge out and attack us. Get the Feline in to charge on the general's bodyguard. Start to try and knock out some of these hussars. Okay, artillery, go after the unit of Lightfoot. Okay, this infantry unit go after more of the enemy cavalry. It's loose on the battlefield. charge off the walls to be honest because you're not going to do what I want you to do because you're bugged. One go stuck at the bottom means these guys will never complete regular firing drills. Keep on attacking. Heavy artillery. You know what? Just secure the uh, square. All this other infantry. Well, my this musket fire from the uh, from the command HQ will deal with them. Oh, there we go. They all broke except for this unit of infantry outside the walls. Artillery did for them. Did for them very nicely. But yeah, that's two kind of not satisfying city battles. Necessary city battles, but not fun. This is why quicklime is always useful. You never have a bad city battle with quicklime. That's for darn sure. But at least that is two factions out of the game. Two factions that we never have to worry about their end turn phase ever again. Excellent, you're still converting. Athens. I mean, they need to be dealt with at some point, and that's going to be fun, but I imagine the individual armies are really weak. So Munich is ours. Okay, let's assume. Oh, we're not at war with Württemberg. Yet. Okay. Let's hit our turn. We're going to swamp the Americas of so many troops. It's going to be ridiculous. So what's Russia going to do? They have one territory left. Are you going to fall back and try and protect it? Or are you just going to raid like little pansy wensies? Raid like little pansy wensies it is. There goes Scholar. Trying to find the secrets of the atomic bomb to try to save their empire. But I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> they go, there must be something in these books that can help us somewhere. Somewhere, come on. Who's, who's, who wrote this one? Man, man, Oppenheimer. No, I'm not interested in that one. No, I don't mean, I get it's very anachronistic, but whatever. Okay, yeah, you're doing the same thing. You're trying to find finally blueprints for a B29. Inuit. Demand peace and the offer. You demand a lot of money and the offer to become a protectorate. And no. Oh, we meant to go after the Inuit as well, didn't we? Dang, never. It... Ah, the day that. Yeah, just auto that. They lost four ships. They captured ours, but they lost four of theirs. You know what? That's not bad. That's a good exchange. Oh, you're going to attack our fleet. 
Blep. Defeat. You can do whatever you like to that fleet. And fleet is not our concern. Oh, this army was up against um, fighting against the Huron in the northwest. That was Dagestan territory. I should have taken that first. Damn, that's why. Stupid. Très stupid. Oh well. We'll do better. Okay, let's bring you down here. So we're going to park two of these guys off the coast of Valletta. So these are going to be the two armies that invade Malta. Excellent. Let's move you across over to the Americas. Should be able to make it. Yes, you can. Excellent. Trader raided. We do not care. Fleet destroyed. Inconvenience. Madras, I mean, we don't really need to worry about the madrasas, do we? Deploy. Although, actually, some of you guys may deploy off of the coast of the British Isles because you too are a target. Oh, you're short one unit. Excellent. So when we attack Britain I'm going to want to Blockade and destroy as many of their fleets as I can. Human in the bark. Sail you on to the Americas. Try to keep up our drumbeat of two armies a turn. There we go. So we can get in. Let's embark. Come on. Excellent. We've got some fleet have arrived markers to deal with. Okay, we are gonna we're I mean, gonna do a lot of fights next turn. So you can blockade there, you can blockade Greenwich. We need to bring up another fleet to make sure that nobody can push out of Bristol. You're ready to move on. Um, Wurt uh, we have Württemberg. Excellent, excellent. Um, do you need to stay here? Well, you're a garrison army. Don't need to move you. Um, right. Probably move you over to here as well. And effectively, all these guard armies can scatter. Well, not scatter. Push up to St. Petersburg, I mean. We do not need to worry about protecting the city. Yeah, workers on strike, you've dealt with it. Have a tavern. Because you appear are going to attack Archangelsk. Before you do that. Let's deal with all these fleets first. We're going to do a lot of depositing off of friendly coasts. We're all going to hold there. Let's move you into here. Well, to be honest, let's probably move 
all of these up to here. When we attack Britain, we can deploy them against Rupert's land. Keep them safe for now. You're still sieging there. You're pushing up towards Santa Fe. Good. But I think the main thing is to go back to Europe fight this critical battle. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the final destruction of the Russian Empire. Cheers, everyone.